guys, uh, a winter edition. Um, this one is about uh, selling your house in the winter. So um, a lot of people think it's a bad idea to sell your house in the winter because uh, the market slows down. This is true, the market does slow down, especially in Nebraska um, with a harsh winter. There are fewer buyers out there. There are also fewer sellers. Um, the market is just slow in general. So uh, people think, you know, don't list your house in the winter, list in the summer when it's really busy. Now, um, in the winter, you do have fewer buyers, but what you have are more motivated buyers. So just to give you an example, me and my wife in the summer, we'll go look at houses um, on a Saturday or Sunday, just because we're bored, it's nice out, we wanna look at some nice houses. Um, I know a lot of people that do this have no intention of buying in the near future, but wanna go out and look at houses um, they may be a year or two years, maybe have no time frame for buying a house, but just like to walk through and see what's out there. Um, in the winter, you don't get that. You get buyers that are not only motivated to buy, but motivated to buy immediately. I mean, if you, if you were six months out from buying, you would just wait till the spring to start looking. So if someone's going to go out in the winter and look at houses, um, they need to buy typically right now. There's a reason they're out there. They're motivated to buy. They're motivated to make offers as soon as possible. So you're probably going to get um, a more aggressive offer from the buyer in the winter than you would in the, in the summer. You're gonna get a lot of people that, that are looking to buy, sort of, but might just make some lowball offers in the winter. You're not gonna get those. You're gonna get the people that need to move as soon as possible, typically. Number two is the holidays are emotional. And that's what, uh, and I'm starting to learn this after years in, in real estate, is that um, it's a, uh, real estate's an emotional experience. So um, when someone comes to your house, they're not being, you know, they may think they're being logical about, you know, how to buy a house, what they're looking at. You know the foundation you know how old's the electrical the roof things like that but ultimately what they're looking at is um could they see themselves in this house and uh more specifically during the holidays could they see themselves waking up on christmas morning in this house so you know make your house nice and warm and inviting um, maybe crank the heat up a little bit make it nice and cozy from when they walk in from the outside and you're gonna get buyers that are gonna have that emotional experience in the house and it's gonna motivate already motivated buyers are gonna motivate them more uh to make an offer on your home because they're picturing themselves in that house uh during the holidays Number three, um, so I hear this a lot, uh, that people don't want to sell during the holidays because they don't want to move during the holidays. You know, they have kids are out of school, uh, you have people coming to town for Christmas, for New Year's, you don't want to move during the holidays. But it should be pointed out that um, when you sell your house, you typically don't move for another 30 days. So you get an offer on your house early, uh, right before Christmas, right after Christmas, you're probably not going to move until end of January. So you still have plenty of time to celebrate Christmas uh, without being rushed, without having to pack up. You have uh, three, four weeks before you have to move. So you can still sell your house, accept that offer, and um, still enjoy the holidays uh, with your fam. Four is, and this is one I was wondering if I should put in here or not, but I, I do believe it's true, um, is that you're just gonna have a better experience with all the professionals involved in a transaction um, during the holidays. So just like any business, um, if you go to Disney World on its busiest day of the year, um, you know it's, it's gonna be a worse experience than if you go on the slowest day. So um, when you go there, staff's overrun, uh, lines are long, um, maybe the staff is not as attentive as they could be if there was less people in the park. Um, same thing in real estate. So real estate during the summer, um, my staff is a bit overwhelmed, if you will, you know, I'm working to capacity. I am talking to more people and closing more loans. So just by that fact alone, um, I just have, um, as hard as I try, and I do try to make sure that I'm communicating as much as possible. I'm going to be, I'm going to communicate a lot better in the winter than I would in the summer, just because I have um less on my plate than i would in the summer and that goes for real estate agents that goes for title that goes for insurance um everyone just can be a lot more attentive um in the summer than they are in the winter than they would in the summer so um if you've ever bought a house for it can be a stressful experience so you know doing it at a time when it is slow when everyone has more time for you uh, might make that process a little bit easier so um you know it's, it makes it easier for the buyer makes it easier for you the seller your list agent is going to be um more available and then if you're going to be a buyer after you sell your house it's going to make that experience a lot better too. So uh, if you have any other questions about um, selling your home, I know it's um, right now we're just starting December uh, 2019. Um, if you have other questions about um, selling in the, in, in this, in the winter um, or um, purchasing a house in the winter or um, selling and then buying a home in the winter, uh, reach out to me, send me a text below, uh, book a phone call, um, send us a message. All right. Thanks.